Humans have been making weapons since time and memoriam. From simple sticks used to hunt for foods, we have since developed various kinds of weaponry. From those which kill with deadly efficiency to those capable of incapacitating without killing. But this is top 5 best, so we're not going to talk about those. From a gun that is literally on your fingers to an ancient weapon so effective it could sink entire ships. Here are the craziest weapons that were actually used. The first weapon is the Petite Protector Ring. Personal protection has always been a thing, especially for women. And a lot of weapons have been invented for such a purpose. While some are content with a bottle of pepper spray in their purses, others wanted something with a bit more of a bang. You might think, why not just get a gun then if you can? Well, this crazy weapon kind of fits both of those bills. The Petite Protector Ring is a tiny ring pistol made to be small enough and comfortable enough to be worn on any finger. They were sold in 5, 6, or 7 shooter variants and uses either 2mm or 4mm pinfire bullets called a Femme Fatal and were heavily marketed to ladies. But did they work is the real question. Let's crunch the numbers on that one, shall we? Each Femme Fatal bullet contains between 2 to 5 grains of powder. When fired from the weapon, which has no barrel, mind you, the projectile fires at less than 500 feet per second and generates a measly 2 foot pounds of force. Testing determined that it was enough force for the bullet to penetrate an inch into ballistics gel and even pierce the side of a tin can. However, this weapon actually produces less force than many modern day pellet guns. Furthermore, there isn't actually any documented case of any of these guns being used effectively in a real world scenario. Our next entry is the Pumhard von Steyr. There are cannons, and then there's this. This massive hunk of metal is called the Pumhard von Steyr, a medieval supergun that originated from Styria, Austria. Made from wrought iron, it measured more than two meters long, with a meter and a half of that length comprised of the barrel. Just one of these bad boys weighed a back-breaking eight tons, so hauling them in and out of battlefields was highly impractical. So they actually weren't used that way. This massive cannon is classified as a Bombard, a cannon that was mainly used to lay siege to an enemy city. Their primary purpose was to break down enemy walls, allowing soldiers to gain entry into an enemy city. The Pumhard von Steyr is the largest of its kind and was very effective at doing its thing. It had a barrel diameter of 88 centimeters and it shot out 8 centimeter stone balls, each weighing around 690 kilograms at a maximum range of 600 meters. Just a couple of shots from this bad boy would make short work of any city wall. Incidentally, it was also very effective at mowing down lines of enemy soldiers in a single shot if given the chance. Our next entry is the harmonica gun and the harmonica rifle. So, before the cylinder was invented, there was this. Harmonica guns and rifles are basically the same, so I decided to lump them together. Its main feature is a steel slide wherein you can load multiple shots at a time. Once you get off one shot, you simply move the slide over to the next chamber and boom, you're back in business, baby. The problem is, though, these guns are highly unreliable and are prone to misfiring. You see, in order for it to work, the chamber needs to be perfectly aligned with the barrel and the firing pin. Since you need to move the slide manually, getting things perfectly aligned proved extremely difficult. A double action model was later made, wherein the slide moves automatically when the trigger is pulled. But it suffered from the same reliability issues. It really is no wonder this kind of weapon design didn't really tank off. Our next entry is the SAR tank. The SAR tank, also called the Lebedenko tank or the Netapur, is definitely one of the craziest armored fighting vehicles in history. It actually looks like it belonged to a video game like Twisted Metal rather than in real life. First off, it lacks a feature that we generally associate with tanks, tracks. Instead, this strange behemoth ran on three wheels. It had two massive spoke wheels in front and a smaller third wheel at the back. Powering this monstrosity are two 250 horsepower engines driving each of the front wheels, with the rear wheel acting as a stabilizer. Despite its weird design, it was actually capable of passing over rough terrain, the same problem that tracks were able to overcome. As for an armament, it came armed with cannons and machine guns all located in a central turret, which also housed the tank crew and ammunition. Big and expensive to build, it never went into mass production. One prototype was built though, but instead of rolling over any obstacle as it was expected to, a design flaw resulted in too much weight being carried by the rear wheel. This in turn caused it to get stuck in obstacles all the time. The Tsar tank was ultimately a failure, but the Russians don't like to talk about it. Our next entry is the Chukanu. A lot of really cool inventions have come from China, and that includes advanced weaponry. 
The Chinese gave the world gunpowder after all, so it's only logical that they were also leaders in the development of advanced weaponry at this time. One of their most successful was the Chu Konu, or the Repeat Firing Crossbow. It was developed so that non-combatants at the time, such as scholars and women of the court, will have the ability to defend themselves in case of an attack. It was invented by a certain Mr. Keen from the state of Chu. This was the time of the Warring States when China wasn't united under a single empire yet. Being able to hold multiple bolts at a time, they did have the advantage in speed and rate of fire. However, it did lack the power some traditional bows and single-shot crossbows had, so it had limited range and penetrating power. So to make up for that, the bolts were usually tipped with poison, usually the extremely deadly and fast-acting aconite, which is a poison derived from the monk shoot plant. The original handheld design and the firing mechanism was improved upon in the succeeding centuries, and many other variations were made such as larger mooted crossbows, which were on wheels or on ships. The weapon saw use until the late Qing Dynasty when it became obvious they wouldn't be able to compete with modern firearms. Our next entry is the Maxim Machine Gun. About as accurate as a modern news story, the Maxim machine gun made up for its blind as a bad randomness with sheer volume, capable of firing 600.303 British bullets in a minute. That's a lot of bullets and also a ton of heat, which is the reason why it was designed to be water-cooled. It was designed to kill as many enemy soldiers as possible. In fact, in the Matable War of 1893, Maxim guns were credited for cutting down 1,600 soldiers. The loss of life was so demoralizing that it was said that those soldiers who didn't get killed by the guns eventually took their own lives by throwing themselves onto their spears. It was invented by prolific American inventor Hiram Maxim in 1882 while he was in London. It is highly debated by historians whether this gun had the most body count than any other gun in history, but let me just say this. There's a reason why the Western Front of the First World War was called the Machine Gun War. The gun was so flippant effective that it saw use again in World War II, as well as the Korean War. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's pick is a gun that looks like it was ripped straight off of a Looney Tunes cartoon into our reality. But believe you me, it's definitely real, and indeed required two men to operate and couldn't be blocked with a finger to the barrel. However, the snazzy suits aren't needed though. Learn more about this crazy weapon next with the Punk Gun. Ever since guns were invented, there's always been a drive to make them bigger and better, spurred on by the belief that a bigger size would directly translate to a better weapon. Oh my. While we know that isn't always the case, there was a huge gun developed in the 19th century that was so effective in what it was built to do, the US government had no choice but to ban it outright. Here, my friends, is the Punt Gun. Punt guns, in simple essence, are basically shotguns, meaning they fire many tiny projectiles called shots, or pellets. However, unlike traditional shotguns, punt guns are always custom-made and were built in various sizes. They all had one thing in common, though. They were absolutely massive. They were so massive, in fact, that most of them required a two-man team to operate, although there are smaller versions that can be handled by a single guy. They were built for hunting ducks and various waterfowl. There was such a huge demand for meat in the 19th century that people were looking for ways to harvest wild game faster and in bigger quantities. In this aspect, the punk gun delivered. Some variants of punk guns were capable of holding up to a pound of shot at a time, and just one shot from these massive guns can bring down up to 50 ducks at a time. The punk gun was so effective that in a few short years, it effectively decimated the U.S. wild waterfowl population and was subsequently banned from use. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Our last entry is the Claw of Archimedes. Let's finish out this list with an ancient weapon that has divided many historians as to if it even existed or not. However, the majority does believe it did and was used effectively during the Second Punic War. I'm talking about the video game sounding Claw of Archimedes. No one's actually sure as to exactly what this weapon's nature was, but historians seem to agree that it was some sort of huge grappling hook attached with ropes to a lever and pulley system and was used to latch onto a boat. It would then lift it partly out of the water to either sink the ship outright or drop it, causing immense damage. As I mentioned earlier, the weapon saw use in the Second Punic War and was used by the people of Syracuse to defend their city from the invading Romans, which were led by Marcus Claudius Marcellus. Syracusians effectively defended their walls with the use of the claw, as well as other weapons such as the catapult. 
The concept of this weapon might have actually been proven twice in the past, first in 1999 and then in 2005. However, the main reason why some people think that this never existed was because of another weapon designed by Archimedes also reported to have seen use in the same lore, the Solar Death Ray, which have since been proven to be completely implausible. Cool sounding, though. Do you know of any other crazy weapons that didn't make it to this list? Let us know down below in the comments below. Also, make sure to check out the channel's other amazing content. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.